I'm Mr. Harris, I'm one of the math teachers here at St. Constantine School. Um, and as many of our uh, students and families, parents, are unfamiliar with Singapore math, the curriculum that we're using uh, for our math classes, Mr. Nicola and I are going to be making a series of videos to introduce parents to, uh, to our approach to mathematics here at St. Constantine. So for the first video, I wanted to just give you the big picture overview of Singapore. And then in following videos, we'll introduce you to particular tools and or concepts uh, that we will be using throughout the year. Uh, so the brief history of Singapore math, it was developed by the country of Singapore uh, starting in the 80s when they noticed that many of their students were struggling with math compared to other countries. And they began to look at how should students learn math. Uh, and as they developed this curriculum, their students went from struggling compared to other countries to doing way better than uh, in comparison with other countries. Um, we think that uh, not only can it have those effects, but it also is the most, uh, the most effective and most natural way for students to learn mathematics. Uh, the basic background of their thought process and how it was developed was, why don't we teach students math like they learn language? Um, so a, a foundational concept of uh, Singapore math is the concrete pictorial abstract method so when we're teaching math, we start with something concrete, we put something in the student's hands, we have them explore and put concepts together for themselves. Uh, like when, they and when little kids learn language, first they have an actual apple and someone tells them many, many times, this is an apple, this is an apple, here, eat the apple, smell the apple, taste the apple. And then eventually they see a picture of an apple and they realize that picture is, the actual, is a representation of the actual apple that they ate. And then, eventually, we teach them that A-P-P-L-E is apple, it is the same thing as that red fruit that they ate. So we're teaching math in a similar way. Some of the big ideas that we'll encounter, um, just to, to go through them briefly, is number sense. Uh, that's an important thing we stress in Singapore math. I'll cover that more in a future video. But basically, it's reading comprehension for math, for numbers. Another big idea in Singapore is to make co connections between concepts. So we want to help students for themselves connect what they learned last year, last week, to whatever they're learning today. Um, the, third, the third one is generalizations. Helping students... <laughs> yes, students. Um, generalizations. Helping students translate mastery of one concept to new situations, helping them take something from a particular situation, a particular concept that they learn, and see how that's connected to others and can be applied more broadly. Um, finally, I mentioned building models or using concrete objects and the concrete steps. So a big part of Singapore math is visualization. Again, putting uh, items in students' hands, uh, whether, that, whether that be things like place value disks that represent different numbers, whether that be bars that we can compare, bars of different lengths, whether that be fraction bars that represent fractions of different lengths. Right? Putting things in students' hands so that they can, in a natural way, understand the math. Right? And then finally, the final big idea would be variation. So showing students that one problem can be solved in a variety of ways. So those are some of the big ideas. Uh, in the next video, I'll go through uh, a little bit of the comparison of the typical approach to teaching math that is probably how most of us, including myself, learn math, uh, and how that compares with the Singapore approach.